Yes or no? Did the president direct Rob Rosenstein to write this memo on James Comey? No, the president had lost, uh, again, like I said, he'd lost confidence in Director Comey. And frankly, he'd been considering letting Director Comey go since the day he was elected. Uh, but he did have a conversation uh, with the deputy attorney general uh, on Monday where they had come to him to express their concerns. The president asked that they put those concerns and their recommendation in writing, which is the letter that you guys have received. So it is the White House's assertion that Rob Rosenstein decided on his own after being confirmed to review Comey's performance. Absolutely, and I think uh, most of America had decided on their own that Director Comey was not uh, the person that should be leading the FBI, as evidenced by the numerous comments that we've seen from Democrat members in the House and Senate, Republican members, members of the FBI, and people across the board. More establishment the I think the it, it's Senator sure. Dan Feinstein says she was told something different directly from the president. The president said he asked Rosenstein and Sessions to review this. Is she lying? He asked them for their recommendation based on the conversation that they had on Monday. He asked them to put that recommendation in writing, but they came to him on his own. And again, the president had lost confidence in Comey from the day he was elected. He and wasn't sure that he Sean shouldn't he fire. Did. On May 3rd, Sean came out to the president has full confidence in his FBI director. Why did he say that? Look, I think, again, he's questioned Director Comey's. Uh, reason for needing to stay at the FBI. He had countless conversations with members uh, from within the FBI. I think one of the big catalysts that we saw was last week on Wednesday. Uh, Director Comey made a pretty startling revelation that he had essentially taken a stick of dynamite and thrown it into the Department of Justice by going around the chain of command when he decided to take uh, steps without uh, talking to the attorney general or the deputy attorney general when holding a press conference and telling them that he would not let them know what he was going to well, say. And that is simply that. not allowed. And somebody like the deputy attorney general, uh, Rod Rosenstein, who everybody across the board has unequivocally said, this guy is a man of upstanding character and essentially the gold standard at the Department of Justice. When you take an action like that, when you go around the chain of command in the Department of Justice, then you have to make steps and take action to make a recommendation to the president, what and that's what he did. John? The Russia investigation, Sarah. Does it have to do with John, the investigation go ahead. into Russia? How do you respond to those criticisms? We'll come back to that, I'm sure. There you go. Uh, until you said from the podium just now that the president lost confidence in him over the last weeks and months, we had thought that this was all Rosenstein's doing. When was it that, and I have a follow when was it that the president lost confidence in James Comey? What was what was the tip? I think it's been an, er an erosion of confidence. I, I think that um, Director Comey has shown over the last several months and frankly the last year uh, a lot of missteps and mistakes. And certainly um, I think that as you've seen from many of the comments from Democrat members, including Senator Schumer, they didn't think he should be there. They thought he should uh, be gone. Frankly, I, I think it's startling that uh, Democrats aren't celebrating this since they've been calling for it for so long. Well, John, well, hang on. I've been I'll oh, follow up. Yeah, yeah, don't and I have another one I need to ask you, too. But just I think this two-question limit around a here, follow, right? <laughs> follow on that. Uh, you said that he made a lot of missteps and mistakes. Back at the end of October, this president was applauded the FBI director when he reopened the investigation into Hillary Clinton's email. So he seemed quite happy with him at that point. What changed? Well, I think the p president's position, one, he was a candidate for president, not the president. Those are two very different things. Uh, once you take over leading the Department of Justice, that's very different than being a candidate in a campaign. Uh, as you guys all know, there's a very clear distinction between those two things. I think also having a letter like the one that he received uh, and having that conversation that outlined the uh, basic uh, just atrocities in uh, circumventing the chain of command in the Department of Justice. Any uh, person of legal mind and authority knows what a big deal that is, particularly in the Department of Justice, particularly for somebody like the Deputy Attorney General, who has been part of the Justice Department for 30 years and is such a respected person. When he saw that, he had to speak up on that action, and I think that was the final catalyst. Just, that a, just a real quick question on the, the meetings uh, of this morning. Uh, the President is accused by 
by uh, Democrats of trying to circumvent the Russia investigation by firing Comey. He meets with the Russian foreign minister and the Russian ambassador to the United States. He's accused of being Nixonian. He meets with Richard Nixon's secretary of state. The timing of all of this, is it just ironic or is this the president poking a finger in his critic's eye? Look, these were meetings that have been on the books for a while. They didn't just happen this morning. Um, there's not a, a strategy to go after the Democrats uh, on this. I think, frankly, the saddest thing is that the Dem Democrats are trying to politicize uh, and take away from something that the president should be doing. He should be meeting with the foreign minister. He should be leading, meeting with people like Kissinger. And for them to try to attack him for doing his job, maybe they should spend a little more time doing their jobs and we wouldn't have all the problems that we do.